Are you looking to add a donation form to your WordPress site? Well, look no further. With JotForm, we make it easy to embed it on your site. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to build a donation form and how to embed that on your WordPress site from several ways. We can embed it by the script code, we can embed it with a plugin, or we can embed it inside of the plugin and select the form. So everything's going to be easy. Don't worry about this. I'm going to show you step by step. So let's go jump over to our desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today we're going to embed our donation form into WordPress. First, we're going to build this donation form really quickly, and then I'm going to show you several ways that we can embed that donation form into WordPress. First, we need to create our form inside of JotForm. So in this case, we are on our JotForm dashboard. So let's go ahead and create the form, and we have three options. We can create from, from scratch, add all the elements. We can use a template and we can import a form. In this case, we'll use a template to make it quicker. There we go, here's our template. Let's go ahead and search for donation. And it's going to show us donation forms. We can go ahead and check out these templates, see if we like them, see if they have already the elements that we need. For example, we can go ahead and view these so we can later customize them. So for example, this could be a charity donation form. Let's see, okay, this looks fine. Let's go ahead and use this template. Okay, now the template has been loaded into the job form builder. We can go ahead and customize this for something else. For example, in this case, it could be a donation form for, for example, donation form for school supplies. All right, we can go ahead and edit this. We can change the image if we like. For example, from our images, we can select something else if we like. If the heading is too long, we can say, Remove that, donation for school supplies. We can add a subheading to this. We can change colors in the form designer if we don't like the colors that it's using already. And we can edit the elements. So in this case, we're gonna get rid of this element because we are going to add the payment gateway to this. That way they can pay through Stripe, PayPal, and other uh, payment gateways. So in this case, to add the payment gateway, we're going to click on add form elements and we're gonna select payments and there's several payment gateways available that you can choose from to start receiving donations. In this case, we're gonna keep it simple. Let's go ahead and select PayPal personal and let's go ahead and edit this really quickly. It's gonna ask us for our email account that's tied to PayPal, the currency that we're going to use and the type of payment. So in this case, we're going to select collect donations, all right? And for this case, the payment box is gonna say donation suggest an amount so we can say you know what we're suggesting that the donation is over ten dollars all right and we can set this as a minimum so for example if we set this on that means that they can't donate less than ten dollars it's just an example okay and additional gateway settings if you need to set these up for for example testing mode or other things that you want to change let's go ahead and save this okay and let's go ahead and preview it really quickly there we go, here it's been loaded and there's a suggested suggested amount of $10. And if I add nine to this, it's gonna say minimum, minimum amount 10. If I add 100, then we're good to go. We can go ahead and add the information, just put some random information for right now. There we go and just random information, submit. And we're good to go and it's gonna do the donation form. So now we can go ahead and start and receiving payments. But okay, we have our form. Now we want to embed it on WordPress, right? So let's go into publish. If you just wanna share this form, you can go ahead and share it through this link. But if we want to embed it on WordPress, we're gonna go into platforms right here. And there's two type of ways that we can embed our form. First, let's select this one. This one will provide us the HTML code so we can embed it. I just copied it. Let's go into our WordPress site. This is a website for demo purposes. Let's go into one of our pages. Let's go ahead and create a new page. We'll name this one contact. Well, in this case, donation. Okay. And this is where we're going to add our blocks. So let's go ahead and add a block. And for this case, we are going to select HTML, custom HTML. Let's go ahead and paste this code. Let's preview this right now. Now be aware that I have it installed no plugins, nothing has been installed on WordPress. Just by using that code, we have added this form to WordPress. 
So now we can start receiving donations from our website because it's embedded here and users will be able to donate from there. Okay, that's one of the ways that we can embed this. Now, what's another way that we can embed our donation form? Well, let's go back to WordPress. Okay, let's close this right here. We're going to go into plugins. We're going to click on add new and we're going to search for jot form. There we go. And the one we're going to select is this one, jot form online forms. So let's install it. There we go. Let's activate it. And now it's been activated. Okay. So how do we use it? Let's go into one of our pages. Let's go into a new page donation to and we're gonna click on the plus to add a block so one of the ways that we can do this is with short code okay now let's go back into job form or platform let's go back into platforms and now we're gonna select this one and this one is an embed code so let's copy this code let's paste it here and let's go ahead and preview this let's check this out there we go it's been embedded on WordPress by using short codes. Any form that you have over there, you can grab it with the short code. Okay, let's close this. Let's go back to dot form. Another way to embed our donation form is by this way. Let's go ahead and add a new page. You don't have to add a new page if you don't like. You can add it with the pages you already have already. So in this case, contact three, we're gonna click on the plus button. We're gonna search for classic block. Let's go ahead and select this. And in the cl classic block, there's a little jot form icon. So let's go ahead and click this. Now, in this case, since I'm already logged in on jot form, I'm able to view all the forms that I've previously built. If I'm not logged in, it will ask me to log in before viewing these. So for example, I can select this online booking form, but I won't, I'll select the donation form. Here it is, continue. There it is, it's added it, it added it for us. Let's go ahead and preview this. And there we go. Here's our donation form. That easy. It's super easy. It's three ways that you can embed your donation form into WordPress just by grabbing the code, the script, or by selecting it in the plugin. So you have three ways of doing it really quickly and easily to start receiving donations on WordPress sites. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.